In this video, I'm going to go over the HDMI ARC system and how to get it working on your TV and receiver. ARC is just basically an audio return channel that's built into the HDMI cable. But you can use that so you're not using so many cables. Like if you're watching the Amazon Prime movie, streaming through your TV, you want to run the sound through your receiver, you're going to use the ARC function. I'm going to show you how to get that going on your system. This is a brand new TV, receiver, speakers, and DVD player. So I'm going to be hooking this up from scratch and going over details. By the end of the video, your ARC system should be working correctly. On the back of your TV, you're going to see all your HDMI ports. And you want to make sure that your HDMI cable is plugged into the port that has ARC listed onto it. That's the one where you're going to plug your HDMI cable into, and then it's going to go down to your receiver. Now one common problem is you don't have a high speed HDMI cable. ARC came out in about 2009, so if you have an old HDMI cable, chances are it doesn't have the audio return channel built in. I'll put a link in the description below for the cables I use. Uh, these are kind of a cheaper cable, but they're very high quality. If you go to a store, you're going to make sure that somewhere on the feature list it says Supports Audio Return Channel, or ARC. The cables I've been using for years are gold-plated tips, and they're a braided cable. Uh, they're great for in-wall installations, uh, and they do support ARC and eARC. On the back of your receiver, you're going to have your HDMI ports. These are going to be all inputs, and this is going to be your output. And one of them is going to say ARC on it somewhere. That is the one that's going to run to your TV. So you need to make sure you have a high-speed ARC capable cable. You need to make sure it's plugged into your ARC on your receiver and on the ARC on your TV. Now some people use an optical cable to get the sound through their system uh, that's not as efficient as an HDMI cable, but it will not work if you have both of them plugged in. So if you have your HDMI cable plugged in here and an optical cable, they're going to cancel each other out and not work. Only use one or the other. The HDMI arc is better than the optical. But if you don't have the arc, the optical will work. There's sometimes the synchronization between the picture and the sound may be a little off. If you have the correct HDMI cable and you have it plugged into the correct ports but still doesn't work, the number one reason it's not working is because a lots of TV manufacturers ship their TVs with the arc function shut off. So we need to go into the TV menu and turn on that arc function. If you have your owner's manual, it should tell you in the back of that. Otherwise, just Google how to turn on the arc function on a Samsung TV or whatever TV you have. And then we'll follow the online steps. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit the settings button right here on the remote. And then I'm going to scroll down to sound. And if I scroll over, you'll see sound output TV speaker. That's not what we want. We're going to scroll down to expert settings. Hit enter. And then we'll scroll down here to HDMI eARC mode. See how it's turned off? We need to turn that on. So we'll hit enter, scroll down to auto, and it's going to automatically recognize uh, that ARC HDMI cable. Hit enter. And now our TV should recognize the HDMI ARC cable and the receiver. So we'll go ahead and scroll out of this. And now I'll go ahead and pull up a movie on Amazon Video and see if the receiver sound works. And now the TV and receiver have recognized each other and the HDMI arc function is on and it is functioning. The surround sound is now playing through an Amazon Prime movie. Everything is functioning correctly. I got a DVD player hooked up and the surround sound works perfect through that. I'm streaming movies through the TV. It's being played through the receiver. Surround sound works perfect on that as well. Like I said, probably the number one cause is gonna be your arc system's not turned on the TV. 
Number two cause is probably not going to be the correct HDMI cable. Hope this video was helpful and informational to you, and thanks for watching.